Hello Reminders, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create AI Dice app using MIT App Inventor. So here we go. So first we need to click on the start new project and my project name is Dice App New and then OK. So first of all we will use here one layout. In the left side you will find the layout option. I'm gonna use your vertical layout arrangement and make this width and height is fill parent like this. And I need one image here. Click on user interface and just drag and draw one image here. And click on vertical arrangement and make this in a center. And this should be in a center. Okay. Horizontal and the vertical. Now click on that image and make this width and high res. You can make it in a percentage or pixel. So I will make it 100, 100 pixel. Okay. Like this. Cool. Now I want to change that. Uh, background color so click on background color click on custom and you can change that color to any anything okay like this so i'm going to use your two button also so is one button and this two button so click on one first button and just say it's start game and then just say stop game okay you can design that uh, stop game something like this in the start game you can define that uh, background color to something green change that text color to the white something make it at least 18 like this click on stop game and change that to the red make it text color to the white and make this font size to 18 like this so now we need to uh, hear some images. Okay. So what I will do here, click on that image and we need to upload file. I already have some images. Okay. I have these images. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So we need to upload all images one by one. So first select, then open, then okay. Then again, we have to do the same thing. Upload file, choose file. So we have uploaded all six images here. So click on that image and just select one picture is one dot PNG like OK. And as you can see, we have this. OK, so what I will do, I will change that vertical arrangement background color to black. So this will look like this. Now, what we need to do here in the left side, you will find the media option and you will see the speech recognizer, this one. So just drag and drop this here. OK, like this. And now we need to just uncheck this use legacy option like this from here and now we need to go to the block section so whenever someone click on that button one a start game button so we need to enable a speech recognizer okay this one this one and whenever someone click on button two so we need to stop that speech recognizer like this okay so now this is fine now what we will do whenever someone start this game okay so what we need to do we need we just need to say next move please okay so go to the block so click on speech recognizer and as you can see after getting text so use the con click on control use if else condition click on logic and use this if the result is equal is equal to the next move please you can change that text to next move or next or whatever you want next move please okay whenever this text is equal to result then we will call the random number here okay random number so how we can do this so go to the block section and click on the image and as you'll find the set image this one set image dot picture okay we need to click on text and you'll find the join option call it here remove it from here and in the join click on the maps and you will get the random integer from so call it here and this should be one two six okay we have six images and in the last we just need to click on text and add one text here like this and just say dot png like this okay and after this we need to just say again call get text call get text this one again okay now this will uh, you know this will display some error so how we can uh, handle this error so to handle one error we need to just call here 
just click on the screen and you'll find when a screen error occur so click on that uh, we need to do something here so what i will do i will just do simple thing is like set button color or something so set button color or something set button text i will say set button one text to as it is is like or button text is star right or button text is start game so i'll again say start game start game like this okay so it's simple so now uh, what we need to do we can do one more thing here we can make it as a manual also so suppose i need one more button here like this or it's just like a play something and i will change that color to the something is orange or something and i will make it with this something 60 percent or 30 percent like this okay and uh, here what i will do i will go to the text make it black it's play so whenever someone click on that play button so if you don't want to play this with a uh, with a, your voice command so you can click on the manual play button to get random uh, random number okay on the dice so on that button three click i just need to call again that whole uh, this here whole method here it's simple okay like this so whenever i click on here so what i need to do i just need to get this i don't need to use the condition also i just need to delete this if else it's simple so whenever i click on the button so this will automatically generate uh, the one png file and this will automatically display so that's our virtual dice app okay so you can use this app as a virtual dice in this app we have three buttons start game stop game and play so suppose if you want to play this dice so you need to click on that play button like this click on this play button see this will generate the random uh, number like three six three two right like this now if you don't want to click down on that button you just want to control that dice using your voice command so you need to click on a start game like this next move please see that one is controlling right using my command so you just need to say next move please and this will automatically change okay so like say again wait some seconds and then again say okay next move please like this so if you want to stop that voice command so you just need to click on a stop game and simple or you can play this game with your that play button so that's the virtual dice app okay okay so that's the app we have created so if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye